Yeah, so we found this one's a little closer to the water table. So we're definitely more likely to have this clam or this clam walls, whole walls cave in on us. So we did the same thing we did last time. We got that arrow down and we're just gonna dig immediately next to it. And the great thing about this hole in this location is that there's a lot of clams in a very, very short proximity to this. So you can see we just got a cockle up. So that's awesome. So we can talk about the cockle later. As you can see, the walls are starting to cave in. What I like to do is just take that sloughed dirt and increase the area of my wall or my hole. That being said, this is where it's really handy to have that arrow because we know about where that clam actually is. And as you get down, you take extreme care with how much force you're using on that shovel because the second you feel a little scrape of the shell, likely you're on your clam. So now we have a great start here. What I like to do is minimize the amount of holes I have to dig. So I know I'm at depth for my gaper as well as my butter. What I'm gonna do is just expand my hole out this direction. And ultimately I should be able to dig these other clams out. So my hole's caving in. There's a lot of moisture in it. So I'm gonna get back to my depth where I was and then allow these walls just to slough in. So you can hear a clam I just hit there. There's another butter. And I'm not coming at it with so much force that I'm gonna break them. I'm just pulling, scooping the dirt away. Should about be to depth there. So wouldn't be surprised if we pulled another one or two up out of this hole. And there was the sound of a couple of them right there, seems like. And so once you hear them with your shovel, reach down with your hand, and you should be able to pull a couple more out. And so those walls are gonna cave in. We knew that was gonna happen. We're just gonna go with it. We're not gonna panic. We're just gonna let the sand do what it's gonna do and try to not let it get too far on top of us. So I felt the gaper. And now you can do the dog method where you just pull the sand away. So I have this gaper, but he's deep in the sand there. So I'm just digging down beside it. Adam, this might be a cool shot to get digging down next to it. Oh, it's getting the better of us. I gotta get on it. And we pull out a second gaper. 